All right, so what we're going to go cover today is a quick tutorial on how to take an image plane or create an image plane and embed an image sequence onto that while your animation is happening. Um, and it will render out as if like there's um, a TV screen or whatever uh, playing in the background. Um, so this could be um, very interesting to use um, adds a little bit of extra animation on top of an animation, right? So um, here you can see how that works. I've just got a simple ball just kind of moving around. Plus, I have this old um, tutorial in the back just playing on a plane. You can see that just by um, me moving around. You can see that it is just a plane there. Selected there. All I have right here is a sky dome because um, essentially I just didn't want to add in other lights. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to start from scratch. So I've got, let's just say this is your animation. This is things that are happening in your animation. I even got a camera moving around as well. Um, I'm not going to deal with that. Um, but what I want to do is create this a plane first. Uh, or an object in which this animation can play on. Um, I'm just using a plane as an example. It's typically what's used in most cases. And so I'm going to drop this plane down. I'm going to expand it. I'm going to rotate it and make sure that I can actually see my windows here. Oh, I've got a rendered view happening, old rendered view here. Let me close that down. Um, I'm going to go here and just rotate this simple 90 and move this joker back out of my way. And that's my image plane. Um, so what I want to do is um, I'm going to apply a material to this. and I'm just going to apply a basic standard surface material. So I'm going to assign a new material, choose standard surface. It's what I'm going to use anyway. And I'm going to select this, go to color, and just like I would, you know, if I had another image that I wanted to use, I'm going to choose file right here. And I'm going to use this folder here to select where that file is. Now, this opened up already on my tutorial, so I didn't have to search it up. But here, I'm just going to search this first image right here and click open. And I know this is where my image sequence is. All of these are, you know, more images from the same tutorial. So I'm going to choose this first PNG here. I'm going to click open. And then I'm going to click right here, use image sequence. And that's what I want. Now, this isn't the same format. I mean, I can take this and easily scrunch it down to make it a more compatible format with the video that I had. Um, so as that's there, as I play through my scrub through my timeline here, I can see that that plays through as it should. Now that tutorial is not 120 frames. It kind of stops right there. So it goes, it grays out, um, which is fine. All I want to do is just show the basic steps here. So now I have that input there on that image plane. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just basically go through this, the, the steps for rendering this out. Before you do a rendering, what I would suggest is that you save your scene and set your project as, um, so I'm going to set the project first. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to put it in my tutorials and I'm going to choose a folder. Actually, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to say, this is my image plane sample. Okay. So that's the folder that I want to use. Select that. And that's where I'm going to set this project. Um, it says it needs a work um, space. And this is key for any animation um, project that you set. Um, it needs to see this right here. It's going to create what's called a workspace.mel. And that's going to be your default workspace. That's something that you definitely need for any animation where you're going to set a project. So I'm going to create that default workspace in that folder. And we should be set. Now. I'm going to go into um, this. I'm actually going to save it. I'm going to be a good student and save this as 
image plane sample again, and it's already within that folder. So that's good. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go and check out my settings for rendering. All of this looks good. It's all going in the right place. Change this to JPEG or PNG. Either one works fine. Your frame animation extension name, pound, or number extension is what you want. Leave that as it is. I'm just going to render out the first 10 frames here, and I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go up here to render, and I'm doing this because I'm in my rendering mode. So I'm going to go to render here, render sequence option box. I'm just keeping it in my perspective mode here. This is where this is alternate location of where I want this to go. So I'm going to choose the location here. Um, I want this is just an alternate. So as a backup, in other words. So image plane sample, and I'm going to create a folder here and just call this images. I would suggest this as well. And so there it is. I'm going to select that as my backup place, and I'm going to render sequence. I'll let this go for a minute. All right, we're wrapping up here on the last rendered frame. It's only 10 frames, so not a big deal. And I'm going to close this out. I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to minimize this. And the next step, obviously, is going to be to open up Premiere. I'm going to give this a second to do that. Okay, Premiere is open. I'm going to go to New Project. I'm going to call this Image Plane Sample and be consistent with my project. And I'm going to put this in the same place where my project is. So I'm going to go and locate that Image Plane Sample. And this looks good. Select this folder. That way, everything is all in the same place. You don't have stuff scattered all over the place. Okay, on that. Um, my workspace opened up. I'm in assembly. I can be in editing. I can be in whatever. This is fine. File, import. Uh, I'm going to go to images. Here's my image sequence. All looks good. I'm going to choose this first one here. Make sure that this is checked. Image sequence box is checked. And open. There's my sequence. Take this, drag it on my timeline, preview it. Wasn't a whole lot of information, but it's enough to tell me that it works. My animation is happening with the ball. And also that spiky thing in the back is also making some movements as well. So this all functions as it should. So we're all good here. Um, now, um, I can go into further editing and so on from Premiere and create a movie out of this. So that's pretty much it. Um, just want to show the basic steps. Basically what you're doing is taking a plane, attaching a file, an image to that plane, and selecting that image sequence to make sure that this plays out right. Test it out if you need to. And that's pretty much all. Thanks, Thanks a lot, guys. Later.